Coming here to the master class is quite an experience, not, not only for the photographers but also for us because we need to remain in contact with uh, these new generations. And um, what is important for me in relation to them is to put the world upside down. Uh, because they are very professional co in comparison with the people that were studying photography or were approaching photography 10, 15 years ago. They had very good training and, uh, and they work very, very well in terms of quality. The level of all of them is uh, quite high. So they feel quite safe in the way they're working. And um, to create, to innovate, I think it must be done in using this kind, I would say metaphorically speaking, this sinking sands uh, that you don't feel safe at all. It's, um, and in that position, you really can access, uh, get access to another level of reflection on the issues you are um, facing or are approaching. I have many times uh, being asked uh, what's the uh, most important thing to decide who are you selecting to curate an exhibition and um, what I'm always trying to identify is uh, one eye behind the photographs and uh, because the, the only possibility in my opinion is looking at the world but identifying your point of view, your personal, your universe, the, what belongs only to you. Otherwise, there are thousands of photographers that can look at the, at the issues, at the topics in a similar way. Especially now that the market is, has increased quite a lot, there are these, let's say, perversion that um, there are young photographers that are too much uh, similar to the certain fashion of, of photographers that are, let's say, in the mainstream. So if they are having success, there are many people imitating them. So it, my effort must be addressed to identify a personal language, a personal grammar, and a personal point of view. And it's pretty much something they should do from the beginning, is try to relate, try not to go too far, geographically speaking, and instead uh, reflect on, on, the, on themselves and going to what is close. I think sometimes we have to de-dramatize the production of a work. If you are dealing with a familiar uh, issue, with your family, with the familiar album, with the relations you established with your mother, father and relatives, etc., it's, um, it's something that allows you to get into yourself, to get to know you better, and after that uh, you can face other things from a very different perspective. So I would, uh, I would not dramatize this part of this period of training, of how to uh, establish a relationship with, uh, with, uh, with life, because looking at yourself, it is uh, something that, uh, as many people say, you can go from local to global. And it's the same if you are doing a, or, or um, reflecting on, on you, it, it will affect for sure to the way you look at the world. So this kind of works, I would consider it uh, them as a kind of working table, what you prepare, what you play, and then many of the experiences, many of the solutions you have found during the process, you can adapt that uh, wisdom to the rest of the works you are going to do. So it's, it is any time useful to, to work in that way.